Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you are having an excellent day today. Today we will be looking at Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Today in the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, we hear a most beautiful encouragement of how we are called to live our lives as Christians, believers, children of God. Although written by St. Paul some 2,000 years ago to the Christian community in Ephesus, these beautiful phrases and words apply just as much today as we navigate our lives in this modern world. What I hear in reading these passages is the voice of a parent or perhaps an older sibling or relative who has lived life, who has a broader perspective, who has perhaps made some mistakes, some poor choices, who has learned from their errors and does not want the same path for you or for me. Their love is so great that they are giving you the keys, the map. They are telling you of the pathway that is best for you to go. They give this advice, this encouragement, as Paul says, out of love. And that is what I hear in Paul's voice today to the Ephesians and to us. Today we hear in Paul's first statement the following. He says, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. I love this. To me, this sets the table for me. It says that this gift of faith, this sacrifice of Jesus, this calling from God to himself is a gift to me. It's a gift to you. It's a gift to us all. It is the ground, the floor, the support. It is the rock that I stand upon, that we stand upon. From this opening, Paul lists the postures, the attitudes, the perspectives that one who has been given this gift, this floor, this rock to stand on, should exhibit. He says that we should live with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. I hear these words from Paul, humility, gentleness, patience, love, and peace. Humility. Am I a humble person? Do I live my life in a modest way, downplaying my self-importance and focusing and uplifting others? Humility. Gentleness. Do I have a gentle, respectful manner? Am I kind? Am I tender toward others and situations? Gentleness. Patience. If patience is a virtue, do I possess that virtue? Am I calm and tolerant with the ability to wait as things work out? That confidence in God that He is in charge. Patience. Love. Do I give love well? 
Do I receive love well? Do I promote love? Encourage love? Do I put other things and other people and their needs above mine? Love. And lastly, peace. Am I a peacemaker, a reconciler, a de-escalator, a problem solver? Am I a peaceful person? Peace. Today, in his letter to the Ephesians, Paul gives us a road map, a rock that we should stand on in how we approach and treat each other. My prayer today is that all of us Take up Paul's encouragement, his urging, and live our lives with more humility, gentleness, patience, peace, and love. He tells us this is to the glory of our one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all, and in all. Amen. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember, our word of the day is humility, gentleness, patience, peace, and love. Until next time, be well and be blessed.